In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question to find maximum consecutive ones if k flip is allowed. So let's go through the problem statement given an array which only consists of zeros and ones. And we have to write a code to find the maximum number of consecutive ones in an array if we can flip k zeros. So at most we can flip k zeros. So this is the input array which only consists of zeros and ones and here is the value of k which is 2 so we can flip at most k zeros or you can say two zeros so in this case uh, let's see uh, this the uh, sub arrays and their sizes so one sub array is this one one and we can flip two zeros so one sub array whose size is four and if you see the another sub array whose size is 7 so if we can flip two uh, zeros then the maximum consecutive ones is this one 7 so this is the problem statement and now let's think how we can solve this problem efficiently suppose uh, given an input array and the value of k and k represent uh, we can flip k number of zeros so we have to uh, find maximum consecutive ones so in this tutorial i am going to discuss a sliding window approach to solve this problem and in a sliding window what we can do is we keep a window in which k number of zeros is allowed and we keep track of maximum consecutive ones at any point so uh, let's see how we can solve this problem using sliding window so uh, so we need two pointer to create a window so one is start pointer and one is end pointer so we keep the start pointer at this zeroth initially both the pointer point at zeroth index then we keep the start pointer at zeroth index and move end pointers at each step until it satisfies this value i mean in a window we allow maximum of k number of zeros when this condition is violated we need to reset the window so that it cannot accommodate more than k number of zeros and we also keep track of maximum consecutive one so that we can print the output that uh, we found uh, n number of maximum con uh, n number of consecutive once in an array so let's dry run this code and see how uh, this approach uh, is working so initially i have declared three variables maximum consecutive one start and zero count maximum consecutive one keep track of the consecutive ones we have found so far i mean maximum consecutive one we have found so far start is the start index or you can say start pointer zero count is keep track of the number of zeros we have found at any point so that if zero uh, if in a window if zero count is greater than the number uh, uh, greater than k then we have to reset the window and then what we do is we traverse an array so we keep this pointer at zeroth index and we move end pointer so these two codes i mean this code uh, is when we found zero we increment the value of zero count and when the zero count in a window is greater than the value of k then we reset this window and this is to keep track of maximum consecutive one so let's dry run this code so we start traversing an array so starting from zeroth index so is the value at zeroth index is zero no so this code is kept value of zero count is greater than k the value of k is 2 so no this code is kept and here is the max max consecutive one so initial value of max consecutive one is 0 now the value of end index is 0 the value of start index is 0 and plus 1 so the value of maximum consecutive one is 1 and we move end pointer at this index so the value at this index is 1 so again this code is skipped this code is also skipped and the maximum consecutive one we have found so far is 2 
then we move to next index and at this index the value is zero so we increment the value of zero count to one and the value of zero count is greater than k so the value of zero count is one and the value of k is two so zero the value of zero count is not greater so this code is skipped and the value of maximum consecutive one is three so uh, then we move the end pointer at this index and the value of zero count is two again zero count is not greater than k so i mean from this point to this point still the window is valid as we are allowing k number of zeros so now the value of maximum consecutive one is four now the end pointer moves at this index now the value of zero count is three so zero count in this window is greater than k so which violates the constant so we need to reset the window so that it can max uh, it can accommodate only two zeros so here what we are doing is we, now we need to move the start pointer and when we found zero we decrement i mean uh, zero count the value of zero count else we need to increment the value of start so let's visualize it so initially a start i mean a start is a still pointing at zeroth index so the value at this index is one so this code is skipped and we increment the value of this pointer then the value at this index is one so again we need to move the start pointer so the value at this index is zero so let's decrement it it's two and and let's move the start pointer so a start pointer move at this now so in this window only two zeros are there so so let's uh, let's uh, now we came out of this loop as this condition is false so the there is no change in maximum consecutive ones so this time let's move the end pointers at this index so the value of value at this index is one so this code is skipped and this code is also skipped as the value of zero count is not greater than k so the value of zero count is two the value of k is two so we allow only two zeros in this index so again, now then move uh, the end pointer so start pointer is here end pointer is at this point then we move end pointer so at each step end pointer will move will move and also we keep track of maximum consecutive ones so if we see so the start pointer point at this index and pointer point at this index so the maximum consecutive one we have in this array is seven so this is the output uh, of this input and the value of k so the time complexity of this approach is on and its space complexity is o1 so this is the efficient approach to solve this problem and let's see the main method so in main method i have declared this array and the value of k and i'm calling this method uh, and passing the array and the value of k as an argument and if i run this code you can see uh, the output is seven so that's it for this tutorial and for more such programming video tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video